Hey, Gemini gang. So as I said in the last reading, I am currently traveling and I am in a hotel room. Okay, so bear with me. My lighting is not as bright as my at home lighting. Hold on guys, camera is falling. Okay, yeah, so we're just we're winging it, making it do what it do. All Gemini placements, table resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Y'all know the drill. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Personal readings are in the description box, you guys. If I'm not answering emails right now, it is because I am traveling, all right? So, let's see what's going on with you. This is, oh, this is for the singles and the sing guys. So, let's just see what's going on with you single, Geminis. Y'all by yourselves. And I feel like y'all like it. The fuck? <laughs> I'm just playing. Seven of Cups. Nine of Cups. Gemini's, I feel like y'all are kind of enjoying your singlehood. The Hermit. Yeah, I feel like y'all are kind of cool on your own. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. Y'all are kind of good on y'all's own, Gemini's. This is the vibe that I get. Like, y'all not really... I feel like for some of you, a connection will be great, but you're not pressed for it. If that makes sense. Child. Two of Pentacles. Some of you need to start prioritizing your dating life, especially if you want love, Gemini's. Like, if you want love, you have to be intentional about it. You have to put in some effort. Okay? Like, you know, your, your soulmate's not just going to come to your house, you know, delivering packages or something. Like, you have to actually get out, <laughs> see what's out there, you know, mingle a bit, get online, however it is you, you want to meet people, Gemini's. The world's on the bottom. Some of you are completing a cycle. And a lot of times, especially because we're seeing two nines here, nines are usually, since nine is before ten, obviously, the, the nines are about like that almost stage. After the hermit is the will of fortune. So I feel like a lot of you guys are, um, you're supposed to be by yourselves right now. Let me move over so you guys can see. Okay. Some of you, you're supposed to be by yourselves right now, Gemini's. And that's just bottom line. Because once you go through this motion of I'm good on my own, I don't want nobody type of energy, then that's when you're going to meet somebody. <laughs> yes, Gemini's. I love it. Um, so a lot of you could be going through this, this period of uh, completing some type of cycle, spiritual cycle, emotional cycle, mental cycle, something along the lines of that um, as far as love goes, Gemini's. Some of you, you're not totally sure you know what you want. And so you've taken time to yourself to kind of figure out what it is that you want, which is a very good thing and a very mature thing because a lot of people aren't mature enough to do that. And a lot of people aren't emotionally independent enough to do that. Pentacles on the bottom <clears throat> not on the bottom king of pentacles coming out king of wands on the bottom some of you got options gemini's and you know it no matter what your gender is okay you got options and you know it gemini's mm -hmm. and i feel like you're taking your time because of that because you know you got options because you know you're a catch because you know, you know, you've done the work on yourself. And I feel like you're you're kind of looking for someone that is the same. Like you're you're looking for someone that is also doing the work on self. Um Gemini's. But yeah, you got options, Gemini's. Don't even trip. <laughs> yeah. Somebody might be watching you too. Um, Gemini's. I love when spirit gives me 
the same amount of the exact amount of cards that I need. Ace of Pentacles could be real money focused a lot for you. Gemini's Page of Cups, Two of Cups. You are going to get a connection. You may even get two. You may even meet two people. Three of Wands. One of them might be at a distance from you. This is a lot of a lot of the same cards from the last read. I'm seeing the Two of Swords under the three of wands yeah you're gonna have a choice of some sort gemini's now for some of you the choice might not be between two people but it might be between your singlehood and a connection gemini's and i feel like some of you guys might be still on the fence like do i want to even put myself in a position to be in a relationship at this point or do i just want to stay single because i'm good but gemini's i feel like for a lot of you, if you're by yourself, that's coming to a close. And as I said in other readings, you guys, I feel like you, um, how can I put it? Like I said, the nines are right before the 10, which is the almost completion because tens are completions, Gemini's. So I feel like once you get comfortable in at the number nine, the 10 is the next level so once you get to the 10 that's when you partner up so like when you think of like look at this i hope the 10 of cups comes out so i can show you guys but the nine of cups is is by himself you see what i'm saying he's happy he's comfortable he's content on his own some of you guys are needing to get here before you can get into a happy connection and then when you look at the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups is in that happy family. You see what I'm saying? So I feel like a lot of you guys are learning these lessons on your own. So you can come together with someone. Gemini's. So being single forever isn't going to help you learn the lessons that you need to learn. Yeah, you're going to learn those lessons on your own. But as I said in another reading, Gemini's, being together in a partnership is going to open up a whole nother set of lessons. <laughs> that need to be learned okay so avoiding love and avoiding commitment isn't going to help you gemini's in any way as far as spiritually emotionally but you do have to go through this this nine period you have to go through this period of being on your own and by yourself and being comfortable that way some of you are already here some of you are needing to get here that may be a message for some of you child queen of wands yeah you got options gemini's a lot of people are, are finding you very sexy and very attractive right now gemini's mm -hmm. i feel like i don't know why i feel heavily like someone watches you i feel if i feel like it's someone older than you you may have an older love interest that you're just meeting that you've been talking to for a while that watches you could be a virgo i don't know why i heard virgo virgo taurus aries yeah and i don't know why i feel like they watch you but i feel like someone is like researching you um trying to see what you're about uh gemini's and i feel like they're older or maybe they have an old soul take that how it resonates that's not gonna resonate with everybody Somebody's trying to figure you out. And I feel like you're not, you're not letting them. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh, Gemini's. Let me say this, Gemini's. Try to be honest with everybody in the situation. That that's kind of what I'm getting with this. The judgment. Mm-hmm. The page of pentacles. Yes. The three of cups. I feel heavy like you have more than one person. And the Seven of Swords is here on the bottom, okay? So I feel like, Gemini, some of you might be seeing multiple people. My thing is, if you're single, that's not really an issue. But just let that be known. Like, let that be known that, you know, you want to explore your options. You want to see what else is out there. You know, try not to lead anyone on, uh, Gemini's. I'm also getting to, though, with the Seven of Swords me going into because the seven of swords could be an avoider and i feel like for some of you gemini's some of you are avoiding getting into connections or fully um pouring yourselves 
fully into a connection, like being totally vulnerable, being totally open um, in a connection. And some of you have been hurt in the past and you've just completely shunned off love. Like, I don't want to, I'm good on my own. I don't want to be in a relationship, which is fine. It's perfectly fine to be on your own, but connections help you grow as a person, Gemini. So you have to start looking at connections in that sense. Um, and not just, well, I don't want to get hurt and this, that, the other, you know what I mean? Like you, you need to look for at relationships and connections from a mature way, um, and not from a hurt scorn way. Cause that's, that's wonderful. If you're on by yourself and on your own, that's wonderful because what's going to happen is you're going to attract someone that's in the same space as you. That's why it's always good to be, um, emotionally independent and be happy on your own before you meet someone because you're going to attract your energetic match to you and ask yourself and be honest with yourself do you want to attract someone that is in the energetic space that you're in right now in this moment or do you want to work on yourself get a higher vibration so you can attract somebody that is on that level <clears throat> but you can't avoid connections Gemini's you can't avoid love and I feel like that's what some of you guys might be doing Let's get a couple of these zodiac sign cards. And then we're gonna wrap this up. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me get one more spirit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so on the bottom we have Libra. Mm-hmm. And we have book burning, book burning, censorship, silencing, control, discord, canceled. Persecute, suffocate, destroy heritage, limiting freedom, constraint, rewrite history, mind games, and changing the narrative. I feel like I get this for you guys a lot. Or am I tripping? Okay, so we have Capricorn, which is bodybuilder. Power, strength, forceful, determined, discipline, vigor, domination. Push forward, influence, leverage, mastery, resolve, intense, resistance, self-improvement, and exercise. I love it because this is what I've been talking about, um, Gemini's. But I feel like with this resistance here, that's kind of the vibe I get with the Seven of Swords. Of Gemini's, you you kind of resisting something, especially some of you guys. Now, this is going to be for two different groups. Some of you guys are already at this comfort level of being good on your own. Some of you are just starting this journey, so take that how it resonates, okay? But some of you may be avoiding connections because you don't want to get hurt or this, that, the other. Um, Gemini's, even if it's if that's what you desire. Um, so I feel like determine which group you're in. Are you just now starting this out, um, or have you been doing this for a while and it's time for you to go to the next level, Gemini's? Okay. Then we have roadblock, which is Capricorn. This makes a lot of sense, too. Blocked change. Child. Barriers, challenges, time to regroup. Stuck. Paralyzed. Obstacles. Stalling. Temporary setback. Take a detour. Not right now. One step forward, two steps back. And I feel like this is self-imposed, Gemini's. And then we have Sagittarius, which is White Rabbit, Spark of Curiosity, Gnosis. I hope I'm saying that right. Spiritual Awakening. I told you some of you guys are going through something spiritual right now. It's time, I'm telling you, heeding the call, researching, inner knowing, dark to light, going down the rabbit hole, waking from the dream. Then we have Constellation, which is Cancer. Network, support, associates, gather, meeting, socialize. Mm -hmm. Organization, arrangement, a collection, exchanging data, influence, in connection with a large amount or quantity. Now, I did say y'all, some of y'all got options, okay? So you may be online dating as well. And um, that's been working out for you too. All right? Hit that like, hit that subscribe, Gemini's. Thank you for watching. Peace out.